questions. Welcome to this presentation. I've solved reason, and we are going to be carrying out the design of form work just like this. Okay, and then if I should go over to the 3D over there, you this is the structure we are going to be designing the form work for the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, and the roof air level. So, form work is basically designed floors by floor. You cannot design the whole floor at once. At first, you have to design the first floor followed by the rest of the floors successfully. So that is what we are going to be looking at in this presentation, just like the one you see it here, right? So this is form work for the uh, second floor, all right? And then if you check this place, this is the real bar, the test of, uh, you know, the reinforced concrete structure. Okay, and also this is a first form work for the roof level. So you can see this is first floor, second floor, third floor, and then the roof level. Okay, just like this. So stay tuned, stay connected, and don't forget to like the lesson and subscribe as well. Let us straight away dive into the lesson. So let's proceed. Before you should carry out a form work design on your structure like this you should ensure that the structure is being analyzed and designed successfully just as you can see all the beams over here they are all being designed successfully if you check the analysis statue there is also designed successfully okay so at this point you will now have to proceed to the design tab click right there and then you navigate to these form work options so you just have to click on the form work options just once so if you check here these are the list of the beams and the columns you can see the members type stories and the members itself okay and then the sections dimensions of the members are being listed here okay so here is the form work statute and this is the form work type all right so all of these provisions are going to be you know changed after the design is successful so like this design has not been done for the form work like this okay so you just have to proceed and then you can actually select any of this and then click on the design selected and the only selected column will be designed in this structure all right or you can just select this design all so once you select design all all of these reinforced concrete members okay will be actually be designed for the form work successfully okay so now we'll be going by the option of designing all so you click on these options just once and then give the program so seconds to be able to carry out the design of the framework of the reinforced concrete structural member successfully. So as you can see, uh, just in some seconds, the framework statute has been checked designed successfully just like this. And then you can see the framework type here. You are seeing F50 and the rest of that. Okay. So the framework has been designed successfully. You can check here for the reinforced concrete slab. Okay. So it shows you the slab thickness. And then these are the sections dimensions of the framework as you can see over here. All right. So at this point, if you want to print a report, you just have to go to create report options. Yeah. So once you click on that, you can be able to create a report that will give you the actual dimensions of these four works of the reinforced concrete structure in all of these provisions. Okay, so that is how that works out successfully. All right, and also if you want to edit all members, you can use this uh, edit all members options. Okay, if you want to remove any four work, you can use this remove selecting anyone and then click on the remove of a uh, selected one or all the four work. You can also remove them successfully. Okay, so this is how this uh, form work bash design dialog actually works. Okay, so now we are going to be closing this dialog and then we will proceed to start applying the form work on the reinforced concrete structure. So, are we closed here? After which, and then we navigate to where we have the drawings and then the report. Okay, or let's just first go to view so we can view all of that before we go to drawing and report because we are going to be produ pro pro producing uh, form work drawings for this design successfully. So I will get to overview, right? And then I'll click on this 3D form work. Now, this form will actually work based on the uh, story where you are, okay? So you see, and the stories that is populated. Story one is not populated, it is the foundation level, okay? So, sorry, story zero. It is, it is the foundation level, so it's not populated. So the story that is populated is story one, two, three, and four. And this is the only story that you can be able to provide a form work, okay? So you first, uh, First of all, activate the story that you want to actually 
you know view the framework of it and then uh you go to view to add vector so double click on this so you can see the green line move to story one meaning we are providing a framework for a story one okay so at this point now after having done that you can just move to where you have 3d framework model and then you click on it just once give the program just some seconds it's created the framework okay so you can see this is from the uh foundation level okay to first floor okay so this is the framework for foundation level to first floor all right it's been created successfully okay so once you are done with this the next one is the second floor uh the second floor for work so you click on the 3d to get back to the, the main environment and then go to story to double click right there to activate it just like this and also click on the 3d for work model again so it's going to generate the for work for that story okay so it simply means from foundation to story one has been done and then you want to consider from story one to story two successfully and then you see the principle of reinforced concrete when it comes to casting it should be monolithic okay it should be monolithic so all of the structural members must be uniform being casted together okay that is the principle right so you can see for the second floor okay so then for the third floor you have to go back right and then enable the third floor right there and then generate the framework model just the way you are seeing like this okay you generate all of this framework model mind you the program is taking into consideration all of this framework uh model like the dimensions and the quantity of uh, you know woods and other materials for your adjust brazings and the rest of that okay so for us to do the floor work now for the roof level because we have done for the first floor we have done for the second floor this is the third floor so remain the roof level which is the story one so story four okay so you have to double click on story four to move the grid lines to story four just like this and then you click on the uh 3d form work right there so once you click on the 3d form work all right you will now have this so you can see the way this looks okay because there is story of first concrete slabs over here it's only the roof being so you can see the way the form work actually looks over here so if you check yeah you can see the difference because there is a reinforced concrete slab here there is a provisions for work for reinforced concrete slab okay so and then for the roof being there is no provision for slab because there is no slab right there okay and also you can use these options to actually select between any of the form work you want to, uh, to be seen and the one you won't want to see using all of these uh, form work uh, provision tab right there okay so having generated all of this uh form work for all the floors successfully the next thing you have to do we have to uh you know uh take this to proper details so we can see the details of the form work like the dimensions and the you know uh, specifications for the wooden material well and the braces successfully okay so what we need to do is we get back to the 3d earlier okay just as i've explained earlier you can also print the reports through the report uh, provisions which i have shown to us okay so for now we go to drain and report right there okay at this point we want to be exporting the entire structures to proper details so that we can actually see the sections of the form works all right so you click on the proper detail right there just once and then you give it some seconds to load all right so over here in proper detail this is actually asking how you're going to actually proceed whether it's by auto generated details okay but since we are not looking at we are not looking at the reinforced concrete members reinforcement details actually but we are looking at the um form work okay so if you click on this auto generated details it's going to generate the reinforced concrete members for you and you will see the form work over there okay so you have to you know click by creating a new drawings okay by creating a new drawings So let's go by start by creating a new uh drawings. So you just have to click on that. Alright, so to have a plain environment just like this. So here is the phone work. Okay. So you just have to expand it. And then you see all of the numbers. Okay. Just like this. So for you to now bring it to this interface, all right, you just have to double click on it. So once you double click on it, you wait for just some seconds, and then it is going to come up. just like this you can see so that is the framework which is a uh, f1 okay you just have to place it right there right so it is a framework for one of the columns okay and you can see it is from the foundations to the level one okay and then up to three meter level you can see and here is this section of the framework okay the end to end is two to five by two to five which is the column size all right and you can see the uh f1 
this is the f1 bottom view all right and then the just sections is this and then the stringer section is this which is the wooden aspect of the formwork being explained just like that here is the isometric view of the formwork just like this okay so if you also come down if you keep double clicking and then you will be having each of it just the way they are like this one is for being you can see the way it's being presented all right so this this is the necessary dimension you need to take note of right so with this dimension you can know what you will be able to buy and with the report will give you the quantity of uh, this uh, wooden of this size as you can see the sections you will be able to buy that will be enough for your construction successfully so this is how you actually break up all of these so you bring them up just one by one okay you bring it up out here just one by one all right so after which you can now you know uh be able to export all of this to autocad if you want to actually uh get more information of it you click here to export it to autocad all right so let us get back to the uh dialogue so we can create these uh drawings actually okay And to do that you just have to double click on this details drawings manager double click on it so after you double click on it you have draw details dialog just like this so we are producing drawing from the story zero to story four which is from the foundations to the roof level and these are the things we actually uh expect to create successfully okay so you click on the draw options just like this and then i want to zoom up right there and then i'll be able to place it over here then give the program some second to be able to generate all the reinforced concrete uh, members of that uh, uh structure successfully so here is all the reinforced concrete uh, uh, details okay of that uh, model all right so i believe strongly that uh, this lesson have actually uh, showed us one or two things don't forget to like and subscribe to soft reason channel just as i said earlier if you want to uh, or bring up a, a drawing for this form work like for example for work two you just have to double click right there so once you double click on it, bring your hand out, you can see the forward just like this, okay, the detail of it, all right. And then for the uh, calculation sheet, for the calculation of this framework, you have to uh, get back to proto uh, structure modeling uh, aspect, okay. So here is it, and then you will now have to navigate to design, and then you get to framework right there. Since it's been designed successfully, you can just click on this permission to create your report. Okay, click right there once. You have to check it to print all of the possible uh, printings over there. Click on OK options and then you need to give it some time to be able to load and generate the report successfully. So here you have the report looks. Uh, the form work design, the notations, the definitions, the notations, okay, so you will see most of this and then in the design, okay, and then these are the notations and what it means, okay, so if you scroll down and this is the uh, kind of uh, sections and the loading and how it's been, you know, applied successfully, okay, in the directions as it is been, you know, arranged like this, okay, so if you come down over here, these are the types of first load and the just dimensions, okay, the provision of spacings and all of that is found in this table successfully okay and these are the numbers of columns and as well as the stories okay so this is how the report of the framework is if you print it out and they come down and be able to read all of this you see the summations of the quantity of this is being found okay and then calculated successfully so here is the calculation you can print it in pdf you can also print it using office okay successfully all right so this is how framework is designed and then the calculations sheet of the framework is also generated successfully in proto structure mind you this is proto structure proto structure 22 versions okay thank you for staying through the presentations don't forget to like the lesson and subscribe to the channel car level for more advanced lesson of this kind stay tuned stay safe and bye for now